Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpents. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, so FX Street kick us off today. XRP price awaits for volume to skyrocket to $2. That's what we like to hear. Well done. Yes. Good on you, FX Street. A brief technical analysis from them explaining how we're just waiting for volume to kick off towards uh, the, the $2 mark. But there is so much to talk about today. And you notice by the thumbnail, right? We're talking about an ecosystem. An ecosystem that is set to dominate. Now, the Flare XRP ecosystem will dominate. Literally, right? We're not exaggerating when we say dominate. It is going to be phenomenal. And that's the part where the haters who are not going to spend their weekends researching, understanding, getting a handle on what's going on, what is happening, how it works, you're going to be you're going to get left behind. And so please spend your weekend not watching Netflix but actually educating yourselves on the Flare ecosystem, how XRP is involved in that, how the entire system of this incredible ecosystem will drive the value, the value, right, the internet of value of 2022 and beyond. The Flare network, right? How the Flare network works from data providers to the to the FSET protocols, to the dApps like Flare Finance. If you don't know Flare Finance, go check it out. How it's all connected, how the XRP ledger is connected. There is just so much for you to know because if you know today, you can make informed decisions and not wait until tomorrow because tomorrow, and when I mean tomorrow, I could mean you know next month, next year, right? Could be too late. And Flare.xyz is the place where you can go and learn about Flare. And I highly encourage you to learn about Flare, right? Because it is going to be a crucial component of the entire XRP ecosystem. And it's very, 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 very important for you to get a handle on that. Now, Justin, Ripple Partner, Instagram announces corridor from Hong Kong to China. XRP blockchain is coming to China, but it's coming through the back door, it's coming through Hong Kong. In this particular article, it talks about uh, Singapore-based cross-border payments platform Instagram has announced that cons consumers and SMEs in Hong Kong can now send money to China in Chinese Yuan on the upgraded Instagram app. And guess what the app is run on? That's right, on the XRP ledger. Very, very nice. Nicely done. XRP is growing in popularity in Australia, according to reports. I don't know. I, I, I don't know how much I can take for this, right, guys? I mean, all of all the Aussies, please comment below, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. I don't know how much of an impact uh, the serpent community is making in Australia, but apparently there is a report that says a Ripple now, which is a network of banks and payments providers that partners with Ripple to allow users to access funds fast, is one of the reasons why the token has exploded recently in Australia, guys. Aussie, 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 in the comments, any Aussie watching this, right? I want to see just how many Aussies are part of my community. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Now, how to buy XRP in Australia? How is XRP? Why is XRP so popular in Australia? It's all in here, right? But hey, I love it. And, you know, and, and it's great to see that other people are starting to see, um, see value in it. Now, Aussie Bitcoin ETF close to close enough ASX to host better shares crypto stock focus fund. The ETFs are flying. They are flying through the door, right? As a US crypto market um, desperately awaits Bitcoin ETF approval, Australia stock exchange is going to, you know, better shares crypto stock ETF is set to be the closest thing to it on Australian security exchange. So very good news. More money flowing into the industry. A triple plus Australia. Well done for that. Now, SEC says that it's Ripple's fault on the recording of XRP sales meetings. Um, I really, you know, like when it comes to this and, and, you know, what they're trying to get, I mean, the fact that we're so close to November 11 and they're still trying to build their case shows just how weak the case actually is. Now, Australia is not the only place that um, XRP is getting momentum because XRP becomes the number one crypto in the UK. Cardano comes second. Pay attention. Pay attention, pay attention, because Ripple XRP is going to play a very, very important role in the UK. And the UK is a very, very, very powerful nation, right? We're not going to get into whose nation's better here, Italy. <coughs> but anyways, the point here is that XRP and the UK 
have a lot that they're going to do together over the coming years. And so pay attention. There's a reason why XRP is popular in the UK. And that's because it is going to be heavily involved in the digital pound. Heavily involved. Now, it's a real shame the way the SEC is regulating crypto, says the S SEC commissioner. At least one voice at the US Secretary, uh, Secretary Commissioner at the SEC is growing louder and speaking out against the way the agency is regulating cryptocurrencies. Internally, they call her crypto mum. Internally, people are saying what you guys are doing is wrong. That's how bad it is at the moment inside there, right? It's bad. Now, there is a webinar coming up, the future of money. Does the UK need a digital pound? That particular webinar is gonna be on Zoom. It's happening on November 10, 3 p.m. London time. Check it out. If you guys wanna go in, you can actually register and put your addresses in, your information, and you can uh, be a part of it, right? It's gonna go for like about, about an hour. There'll be a few different people chatting about it, but it'll be interesting to be involved in it. It's 3 p.m. Um, local London time. I'll try get on. Let's see. Let's see how we go and what, and what can we learn from from that particular webinar. We'll talk about the price today, where we're at, where we're going, but we're following the line very very well on the weekly, right? On the weekly, you now I like what Crypto Bull was done here. On the weekly, we're following this, right? And this particular that particular signal is an extremely bullish signal, right? So on the weekly, we're about to explode, and that's why he says XRP will go parabolic soon, and and yes, it will. Yes, it will. It's following a trend line very, very well. It's above this trend line. Let's jump into a tiny. Let's have a look at some of the indicators. As we begin to look at the charts, we're looking at particularly at the moment on the daily. And on the daily, we can see that there has been nothing, right? There's been absolutely no movement happening at the moment on, on the XRP um, from the daily perspective. Right? We're at 0.15% down for the day. But across the board, right, the highlight of the day, of course, is Bitcoin uh, climbing all the way to 62,000, currently sitting at 61,790 at the time of making this. But when we look at the volume at the moment inside the XRP USDT, we can see that there is nothing on the, on the hourly, right? It has not moved, hardly moved anything, right? It's barely, barely even worth talking about it, right? But on the four hour, it is bullish. On the 12 hour, the MACD is about to become bullish, but it's not bullish quite yet. But on the daily, it is bullish. So we are waiting for volume. That is as simple as it gets. We know that we've broken out of the 110, but we're simply waiting for volume. When will that volume arrive? I think we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer, right? If I wanna be conservative about it, I think we will be waiting a little bit longer for volume and once that volume arrives it will arrive thick and fast and get us through to all the next uh, levels that we're about to break but we are approaching the start line to go towards two dollars we're just waiting for that volume let's have a look at some drawings one of the most important drawings that we will be looking at right now is we're looking at this particular one because we're waiting for that volume right so the volume comes in and as soon as the volume comes in we'll kick off and go towards you know 125 to, to you know to 127 then retrace back and follow that trend line and then push up towards 141. But we are waiting for this volume, right? That is all we are waiting for right now. It is bullish. We know it's bullish. We know we've broken above 110. We're just waiting for volume and volume will come. When the volume arrives, this is what I'm thinking, right? So uh, a move a, a move like this. Where we will land, we'll probably land around you know, 420, 440. But we'll have two nice, uh, um, you know, small-ish, you know, Candles and then a big candle, you know, towards a uh, three three thirty, and then a retrace, and then a, uh, and then we break and go towards four four twenty. So that that there, I can I can get behind, right? I can see that kind of week. I can see that kind of formation happening, and I can see, you know, there will be one which will be, you know, huge. I think I think that's that's how we how how we're going to how we're going to be progressing forward. As we progress forward, we're looking at, uh, you know, breaking, you know, 130, breaking the 140, breaking the 153, and then 196. Uh, consolidating above 196, that there will be very, 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 very important. Now, right now, we want to make the move towards 120. That there is very, very, very important. So we're waiting for volume and we're waiting to go and push above 120. Then from here, like as we you know, analyze, right? So we look at this and we say, okay, this is how we're gonna do it. But then the little tiny intricate details will be more like this. So it's never a linear curve. Please understand that it's never ever a linear curve. It is important to understand that there will be ups and downs along the way. But breaking towards 220 um, and breaking towards $2 in general will be 
coming very, very soon. And of course, as we head into the future, the future is looking amazing for this incredible, incredible ecosystem. Now, if you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as always. Thank you, and I look forward to see you on the next one.